Yo, yo, yo. Got another video. Um, and, um, hold on. I really rock with the coconut water, though. And, um, hope you're having a great day. Um, I'm having a blessed day, by the way. Uh, just thank the creator, just... I'm just looking at this blue sky. The sun's about to set, man. I, uh, my son's in the bath right now, and my daughters are watching a, a show right now, man. I just decided I just wanted to come out here and just speak a little bit on... I said, just moved in the spirit to just talk about something. I feel like a lot of young men need to hear in this song. Um, Stop being a nice guy. Now, when I say stop being a nice guy, I don't mean stop being polite. I don't mean stop being kind and even in many ways gentle and chivalrous and honorable and respectful. A uh, man that holds himself with dignity. I never said don't do that. You don't have to be a jerk. You know, you don't have to be disrespectful you don't have to treat people a certain way because they say nice guys finish last that's real and I'm telling you because I've been a nice guy my whole entire life and I'm even learning stuff like this year you know just about being a nice guy that was really my downfall and I would say especially with the opposite sex and once you're that nice guy you you really appear to be weak and I think the issue with the nice guy is and this is a revelation that I really had within this past last several weeks I would say um, a nice guy really gives wife treatment to every woman now, that's your problem now I believe you should be masculine in masculine frame meaning you should be assertive you know you you should be able to put your foot down but you should be dealing with the type of women that are able to submit to that now once you're this nice guy you're, you're and you're just trying to get something from women you know you're gonna be as nice as possible as kind as possible you know holding doors open and paying for meals and this and that just to try to get something from a woman and even if you don't care about that type of stuff and you want marriage and you're chasing women you know chasing you're not pursuing you're chasing women that are probably sleeping with five to ten to fifteen to twenty dudes already and not to judge anybody for the lives that they're living you know but you're just a turn in another person's carousel, <laughs> you know, basically. This is why I would promote celibacy. And the moment you become celibate, the moment you really step back out of the dating game and you start to see that it's just a game, you know. But when we're speaking about next generations and just, you know, like marriage and marrying somebody with the purpose and intent to raise children with her, you tend to look at being a nice guy differently. Like, just raising my children, I realize if I'm that nice guy to my children, they're gonna walk all over me. And it happened already. And it's frustrating as a parent. So just imagine another grown person <laughs> being able to walk over you. Mm. This is why a lot of these households are everywhere. This is why divorce is so high. Because many men are intentional. They're not straightforward. Just like, yo, what do you want, man? It's always stringing something along and just trying. Like, I know because I've been there. Like, you can't even decide for yourself what you truly want. You're too nice. The moment I started to read the Bible and just, like, get into the Word, I realized I ain't had to be that nice. And like I said, I become more loving. I would say, I'm not really a loving man if I'm letting a woman walk all over me. I don't love myself, and if I don't love myself, how can I love you properly as a woman? If I'm letting you walk all over me. If I'm letting you treat me however, and just disrespect me however, you know, without any sort of, you know, 
Stop being nice. You know, and once again, that does not mean be mean. <laughs> it does not mean be a jerk. It does not mean be hurtful and hateful. You know, that's the opposite of what a masculine man even represents. You know, but a woman's going to be more prone to submit. A feminine woman isn't even going to want any feminine man. Yeah, even it, a feminine woman is not going to want a man. <laughs> you know, and, and not to say, like, a woman that's in her natural feminine nature is going to automatically be submissive. Not like, you know, I only submit to this type of man if he got this. Or I only submit to this. Like, that's that's not the, the nature of a feminine submissive. And, you know... A woman that's submissive is, it just, I'm going to tell y'all, like, the, the, the solution is a <laughs> Proverbs 31 woman. Like, if, if she don't fear God, man, it's useless. She's going to divorce. If she don't fear God, she's going to want power. If she don't fear God, she's going to be like Eve, you know, was in the garden. Think about this. They're in paradise. I had everything they ever wanted in life, and she still lusted after the one thing. <laughs> you know that God said don't do And then the man just follows behind Because that's naturally what a man That's a nice guy would do You know But Once you get out of that nice guy phase That nice guy Mindset Just get just get rid of the nice guy this. Once you're just not so nice anymore That's when you start to see women's true colors Towards you and I, I had this experience where it was just like, over the years, I had hundreds and hundreds of women in my town just like, oh, you're so sweet to me, this and that and that. Just because, you know, all the nice stuff that I posted. And personality never changed. The love that I have for people never changed. It's just I started to become more bold on my stances. And I stopped allowing, you know, whoever and whatever to just dictate and determine how I even speak. Because I would think about, okay, oh man, like, they'd probably be offended if I said this. Or they probably would, you know, I'm, I'm just going to hold back on just expressing what I feel inside. You know, t to cater to somebody else's feelings. Think about it, is a woman going to want that? A woman going to want you as a man to be able to put your foot down and, and, and speak. <laughs> A lot of women don't like criticism and accountability, but the right type of woman is going to appreciate that. The right type of woman is going to want to hear that. You know, we got to think about marriage and raising children. Like, are you going to lead your family? Are you going to be able to protect your family? Are you going to be able to provide? And, and prov provision isn't just about money. You provide protection. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's more than just physical protection. You feel me? It's that spiritual protection. You know, and I feel like that type of covering only comes when you allow Jesus to be the head. And it says the most high is the head of Jesus. And that's when you really fall in that divine order. God, you know, Jesus, man, woman. And many people will refute the biblical order. You know, God's order for things and... Many would just slide out of that order and just kind of like slide under the woman in a sense. But a, a man that have his head covered the, dishonors his head. Yeah, and it's many Christian men, you know. I'm, if you have your head covered, meaning you have your wife covering your head <laughs> and not vice versa, you dishonor Jesus. <laughs> You're just ruining the order right now that God has set. And... I'm not going to use the word abomination, you know, but I don't know what God calls it. So, but I know it's out of his order and it's not right. You've seen what happened with Ahab and Jezebel, you know, and just how Jezebel kind of ruled things <laughs> in Israel, you know, but she wasn't the king. You know, it's a lot of Ahabs out here. And, um, One thing that I've noticed, how much time we got, huh? One thing that I noticed about myself and my nice guyness that I realized, I'm gonna double back to what I said before, just 
giving any type of woman the wife treatment meaning I believe if you have a wife um, you should be able to like this is a tough world for a man I don't care what race of man you are it's a, it's a tough world for a man so you come home and it's just like you want to be able to take off your armor you want to be vulnerable with your wife you know if that's the person that's considered to be your best friend or considered to be the person that you have children with, the one that you build with, the one that you're gonna grow old with, you're gonna wanna be able to be as vulnerable with her as possible. You're gonna want that to be your best friend. And a lot of nice guys' issue is they give that treatment to any type of woman, even if she's not the wife type of woman. But I don't believe any woman just deserves just all that emotion and all that feeling that you have, you know? Like, give it up to God, you know, and just, Seek his kingdom and righteousness and trust that all things will be added. So, got to add a, a wife to your life, you know, if if it's in your heart, you know, and, and that's what you desire. And, you know, you, you pray to God for the things that you desire. And if you serve him, we don't serve God for things, <laughs> you know. We serve God because God is God. And and, and because of that, you know, we yield to the Holy Spirit and we, we, we move by the Spirit. Like I said, Jesus to be the head of man and... You know, God will grant that blessing that you have to be in that divine order for God to like truly bless you in that way. And when you do, you'll have somebody to help me, somebody that can help you through this life. And part of the help ain't just like the house chores or stuff like that, but she got a perspective that you don't. You know, there's going to be things in life that you may face where you might need female counsel. And the way that a woman thinks is amazing and it really compliments a man and vice versa the way that a man thinks and compliment a woman. You two become one, you know, so you're going to be able to express these things to your wife. And I just don't believe that men should be expressing this stuff to just anybody, you know. Like, of course, if you're part of a congregation and things like that, you, I believe, like, you express yourself in a, in a way, you know, you confess your sins in a way. But there's this extra thing that nice guys do where they just throw their whole heart, you know, just... That's wrong, and like I said, that's something that I've recently learned, and um, I trust God, you know, at the end of the day. Um, that's why I said I just speak to God about these things, and, and trust God with my own personal journey, because I've been a nice guy <laughs> my whole life, you know, and being a nice guy, I've suffered so much rejection, so much friend zoning and you know and you have a woman taking her time with you and she'll be sleeping with mad different dudes you know at the same time and speaking to people in the world you know, you know of course I'm a man of God now so it's different but I want to speak to speak this in a way where nice guys all types of nice guys you know like rather you're a Christian or not you know could really receive this but I'm going to tell you the only way to get out that nice guyness is to know God. And once you know God and, and know the true alpha male <laughs> out of all the alpha males in the human existence, Jesus. You know, once you get to know him and, and like I said, just that, that's the head of man. You know, the moment you fall into that divine order, the moment you start to become a real man. Once you get into the word of God and that word just starts to just fizzle up inside you and the Holy Spirit moves inside you, all that nice guys all that nice guyness is gonna dissolve out of you. And you're gonna realize, oh, I'm actually more caring. I'm actually more loving. <laughs> you know, I'm actually like once you have the most high God in your life, you're gonna love more. You're gonna be more kind. You're gonna be more deeply invested in family and just a, a vision that God gives you for family as a man. And God's going to guide your steps, you know, to, to get to that place where you can envision your family. And God's going to bring that blessing into your life as far as a help me. And one way to stop being a nice guy is to stop watching porn. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Stop doing that stuff in secret with yourself. I'm dead serious. Stop releasing your seed.
And then your eyes is going to open up to a whole different world. You're going to start seeing through women. But like I said, those women that we thought were your friends because you're nice and kind. and, and Be bold. And I don't mean be disrespectful, be anything, but you have inner thoughts already. Be bold and start to express those and watch how they treat you. When that nice guy stuff go out the window. And that doesn't mean that you're mean, like I said. It doesn't mean you're a jerk. It doesn't mean that you're disrespectful. It means that you're not going for any slick nothing anymore. And you're not dealing with it. And, you're, and you, you hold yourself to a higher standard as a man. And even the type of woman that you deal with going to change. Like I said, I, and me personally, I'm in a different position than most men in this country and probably even in the world. Like, I, I, got, I'm a, I got sole custody of my three children. I, I ain't got no woman here. I don't even have women here. I got two daughters I'm raising. And I desire to raise them if, we, if Jesus doesn't return within the next 20 some years or so and my children grow to be adults, I desire for my daughters to be helpmeets, to be wives. I'm going to raise two wives in this world. And I got a son. I'm going to raise a husband. I'm not going to raise no players and, and no, uh-uh. You know, the enemy has a plan, and the enemy wants to use these women to take out these nice guys, because believe it or not, if a lot of you nice guys really got to know God, <laughs> it's going to be over. These women going to have to change. But it takes you as a man to lead. But the moment these nice guys stop being so nice, the more men of God that raise up in this nation that's when you're gonna see a change in these women but instead of y'all a lot of y'all sit up sit around and complain that a woman doesn't want a nice no they don't want no nice guys rather she's a masculine woman or a feminine woman both don't want no nice guy you're just gonna be a physical toy to be with that's it you're just gonna be a physical object a physical tool that's all you are a cuddle buddy Somebody that's nice to talk to, you know, <laughs> literally. But nobody going to take you serious. And how do I know? Because I've been there. And like I said, I'm done with it. I'm done. And I think this video is just a statement of how done I am with being a nice guy. And like I said, within these last several weeks, my eyes have been open to myself. God has... Reveal things to me by the power of the Holy Spirit and I said the Holy Spirit is gonna reveal things to you Especially if you pray like if you know God already pray to God if you don't know God pray to God to reveal Things about you that you need to change Just pray to God God gonna reveal it God gonna use circumstances God gonna use something to just expose this stuff to you But yeah newsflash Stop being a nice guy. Hold on, let me see how much uh, time we got left on here. Yeah, this video kind of long. <laughs> Longer than most of them. I don't know, I'm just... It kind of got personal on this topic because... Uh, like I said, I'm done being a nice guy. And, um, men of God aren't nice guys. We're loving. You know, we follow the order of God. Regardless if you like it or not, I'm not tiptoeing around or I'm not compromising God's word for no woman. I'm not compromising my masculinity and just my stance as a man, you know, for no woman. I'm not chasing no woman. You know, and if I see a woman with wife-like qualities and I'm in a position where I'm prepared, I'm pursuing with the intent on marriage. But that's the right type of woman. As the Bible says, this type of woman is rare. <laughs> like rubies and stuff like. I'm a rare breed of man. So yeah, I want that rare breed of woman. But yeah, we need more of you nice guys to stop being so nice. And maybe we'll see the change that we need. 
Maybe we could be more of a nuclear family. Maybe we these divorce rates can go down. Maybe these abortion rates can go down because you're not just sleeping around with anybody. You're sleeping with nobody and getting yourself right, getting yourself together, getting into God's word, getting into God's presence. <laughs> you know, and just focusing on your on on your goals or just just you have a purpose, you have gifts, you got things that you can do. And once again, I said this in another one of my videos, I'm not here to preach no prosperity gospel. I'm really just telling you like, God has stuff for you. And it ain't in no way like, I serve God for things. No, you serve God because you seek his kingdom and righteousness with the intent of just seeking his kingdom and righteousness, that you're just seeking God. And it's in your heart too. And you're going to feel it in your spirit and you're going to be moved to just do God's work and, and trust and believe. Watch what happens. And I believe for a lot of you nice guys, it stops when you put the porn down. When you stop doing that weird stuff with yourself. And stop releasing your seed. And watch. I'm just telling you. There's a lot of guys that got these no fat videos out. These semen retention videos out. Search it. Just search semen retention. You know, and, and you're gonna see a lot of people talk about this stuff because it's real. You know, it's just I believe the wrong perspective, but I'm gonna talk about that later. I just kind of want to talk about this nice guy thing. His sun is setting, and it's beautiful out here, and it's time to just you know, get the rest of my night going. Uh, I said, and. Bad time, get ready for church, you know, all that stuff. But um, hey, um, if you listen to this, I hope you picked up some gems. I hope something touched your spirit. I hope you received something in some way. Most of my videos probably won't be this long, but I I just had to get this off my chest. You know, I'm just moved in the spirit to speak about certain topics now, and I said. I'm really serious about this content creation stuff. This is the last time I'm gonna mention this. I'm just gonna start doing it. <laughs> but um, I am doing it, you know. But man, just get on your purpose, man. Get on your purpose. God has a purpose for you. Like get on that and, and, and stop focusing on these women. You know, and focus on what you need to focus on. And they come, but that should never be the focus. It's focus on his kingdom and righteousness and trust that all things will be added. Wow. Hey, God bless though.